Annyeong everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you just met, my name is Ju. If you like cars like me, please smash that subscribe button and like this video for more. Today, I'm here in Hyundai Manila Bay. Please look for Miss Kristan if you want to purchase your Hyundai vehicles. She is really, really professional and nice and she'll really take care of you. This is the local Hyundai Creta. I do have my video on the Creta. This one comes from Indonesia, but the one I feature in that video, it is the top spec of the Indonesian market. And this one is the local, which means, yes, I've seen it coming that it's gonna have lesser features. Hyundai Philippines with the new management of Hyundai Motors Corporation, it did come with a lot more features than I expected and with a very sweet price. The Hyundai Creta in the Philippines comes in four variants. Well, actually three, but there's a special variant that costs 10,000 pesos less according to the price list. I think that might be a typo, but it starts from 998,000 pesos with the base variant all the way to 1,333,000 pesos for this top variant, which is the IVT or ICT, no, IVT. So if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment if you have more questions. This is the front fascia. It is a similar front fascia. It's the Panametric Jewel Grille design of Hyundai, which is the same with the all-new Tucson. And I like it. I really like it. It's all in LED. Even here, these are LEDs, except for the turn signals. Uh, one thing I want to change is that this logo should have looked like the Tucson in smoked rather than in this silver traditional Hyundai logo. Although it does blend well with this white color, I would have appreciated it with a black one since this is already black as well. Here in front, uh, there are no sensors. Although this one has lots of safety, except for the adaptive cruise control, it has almost everything. Thanks to the camera there in the windshield. All right. So lots of airways for the air to go inside. The hood design, it has a two-tone color. So it looks like a convertible if you look at it. And that's the front. So this Creta, top of the line, has all the safety systems similar to the Kia Sorento. It has everything except for the adaptive cruise control. So it does do uh, lane keep assist, lane follow, and everything, all the nice stuff, but not the adaptive cruise control. But uh, from my experience, Kia and Hyundai are practically the same cars, and their technology are shared across platforms and they do perform well so i can't wait to test drive this one so please if you know the hyundai executives please do let them know that i'm willing to test drive their cars and feature them on the channel for everyone's sake Kamsamda. the creta has smart keyless entry system which has remote engine start and also remote window down yes i said window not windows just for the driver okay so that is quite unique i've not seen something like that i've only seen like it either has it or it doesn't but this one it seems like it doesn't have global window control it only has the front driver side for the fully automation windows and this is how it looks like uh-huh this one looks more traditional than other keys out there now when we look at the side of the Creta top of the line it does have nice design cues black side mirror black roof black roof rail black shark swing antenna two-tone alloy wheel in 17 inch yes you get 17 inch alloy wheels in all variants of Creta now what's interesting is that this thing according to the manual has higher minimum ground clearance because the Tucson had 181. This one has 200 millimeters. That is high number for minimum ground clearance. Black accents around the body, chrome door handle, keyless entry system buttons for this side and also on the other side. Now, this side mirrors have blinds 
spot warning. Yep. It also has power folding side mirrors. So this one is like a really well specced crossover that I didn't expect. But uh, uh, let's be realistic. 1.333 million pesos. You have lots of other options that are not Korean, right? And that are not Japanese. So open-minded ka ba? <laughs> Let's check out the car. What we like also, aside from the two-tone 17 wheels, they are all in this braking system. So slowly but surely, all cars are now giving us disc braking system. Great job, Hyundai. However, uh, we have yet to test drive this car, but it does come with MacPherson in front and torsion beam at the back. So based on my experience with the venue, uh, it will have good tuning that will be different from other torsion beams out there. If you have managed to come to this point, don't forget to subscribe. Only 15% of you are subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button. It's free. Thank you. This is the rear side of the Creta Tau of the Line. This is a white body that has a design that is not uh, normal. The design is like Genesis because Hyundai owns Genesis. And probably they come uh, in a similar pattern. So I like this uh, Creta letterings here with the Hyundai logo and the uh, uh, defogging lines are here, the top mount brake lights are here, the spoiler. There are sensors and a camera and more design with this cladding down here. This uh, I will demo here and also this one, let me show you what kind of lights they are. They are not a power liftgate system. They do come with uh, steel wheels for the spare. Uh, I like having the spare wheels rather than having tire repair kits. There are some places where you can tie your groceries and also there is a light. You can also easily fold this down using this and also this. And it doesn't fold completely flat, but it does give you plenty of trunk space. This is going to be the start. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the start. And then this is the reverse. See, that's the reverse. And park light and hazard. Park light, headlight. There's no fog lamp. High beam, high beam, turn signal. Let's go inside and check out this unit right here. Just look at this leather, this good interior. These are not leather actually, these this this are leatherette. But they feel like, you know, those conventional leather. Because the synthetic leather, they have been improved a lot by far. Only this one is fully automatic up and down. It, it looks like a G, like a Jilly. Power folding, the speaker, the mesh, cubbies. Traction off button is huge, meaning it's inviting us to turn off the traction. <laughs> okay, food release, gas cap release. Yes, that's something what we release a lot these days. So here we are, same design as, same design of the steering wheel as the Tucson and the Santa Fe the new Santa Fe no Palisade okay audio controls driver assist control lane keep assist cruise control okay so this is the dashboard without me turning on anything so let's try it now whoa see 1.3 million you get a 10.25 inch you got a seven or eight inch with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, similar with the ones in Kia. Single zone, but they are nicely done. Nice. Push start button. You can turn it off if you want to, but you can turn it on a bit because it's so hot. USB charge ports with 12 volt in the middle. Wireless charge pad, everybody. 
This one has wireless charge pad, not the other variants. This one has. This one is tilt and telescopic. Ugh. One touch turn signal, yes. Got this area, these are plastic, but they are like, a, you know, leather color. The air vent design, very normal, very usual one, nothing special. This one is a standard room mirror, but it does look uh, more updated thanks to this different design. The sensor is right behind here. Map lights are in halogen, just with mirror, also with mirror, no lights. Let's see if it comes down slow or fast, really fast, quick, quick, quick. But it does come with cool box feature. Yep, I think this one, yeah, it has cool box feature. Okay, that's interesting. The design of the seats, the transmission, sport mode, drive and traction mode. Let's press drive. So it has echo, normal, sport and smart. How about traction? Snow, mud, sand. This is similar to the venue. Okay, this is available also in the venue. But this one has e-parking brake. Auto brake hold, illuminating cup holder area, it doesn't get cooled. Compartment. Okay. Now let's go to the second row and let's check it out. But here, like uh, what can we do here? Attention level. Okay, we can also go right. Can we go left and right? Okay. Can we go left and right? Uh, press this. Okay. Okay, uh, this one was the adaptive. This one has trip info like that. Then another side, driver assistant lights. So it has high beam assist as well. This is a smart car. Mm -hmm. Remote window control. Convenience, rear occupant alert, service interval, welcome mirror. Okay. So does it fold and unfold automatically? I don't think so. I didn't see it. We'll try that again. Okay, tire pressure. Monitoring system is also available. Oh, nice. Now let's go to the second row. The second row, cubbies, seats, air vents. Uh-huh, everything's here, what we need cup holder and armrest everything is here the center tunnel is also on the low side and this is the interior of the Creta it is quite luxurious feel it almost feels like a Tucson it's really spacious now this one looks small but it's not that small pouches charge port and a cubby it's a nice car after all This is the engine bay of the top of the line Creta. Yes. That's a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine that is mated to IBT, which is also a fancy name for CVT of Hyundai. This one pumps up good number actually of 113 horsepower and uh, 143 Newton meters of torque in Euro 4 uh, emission standards. But they saved money here. <laughs> Does come with half of the engine cover as well. It looks like the engine can have bigger, bigger engine. Uh, uh, maybe not, maybe not. But that's the engine. Thank you again everyone for watching this video. This was Ju from Soju Cars. This was the top spec Hyundai Creta. If you want to purchase this, please do contact Miss Kristan here in Hyundai Manila Bay and I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Thank you.